In this video, we're taking a look at some new Return of Light cards, and that's coming up right now. Check this. Hey, how's it going? My name's Brad, and welcome back to a new homemade card showcase for Eternal Light. Today, we've got a handful of new cards to show off that are supporting the new Darkness set and uh, some like bits and bobs here and there. But just for a begin, uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss anything from me. I make art content all the time on a daily basis, and there's always something new for you. So just before going, let's see if we can hit six likes in this video, because you guys showed so much support on my last few videos, and let's see if we can hit six. So other than that, let's begin. So we're just gonna begin by showing off, uh, I posted this on Instagram, about a week ago but there was a, a character design for the comic that i didn't really discuss in any videos on here and i wanted to sort of go over it now uh this is sonya as you can see on screen and this is a she's kind of like she's one of the youngest characters in the eternal light world and she's she's a lover of animals so as you can see here she's holding like a tadpole and you've got that little uh that little furry animal there i've not really revealed what that is yet that could be you know a future car or anything but uh, you can, as you can see in there anyway she is an animal lover and she's a really good character and yeah in terms of the car gaming stuff she would be the the one who would you know use the tadpoles and stuff but uh yeah she's a new character that's been introduced into the eternal light world and i hope you do like her. i'd love to hear your opinions down in the comments if you have any uh ideas for future characters or what you think of this one and other than that let's get straight into the cards anyway so we're going to begin with the first one which is this new one here which is called impact you may see this in the intro but uh, we've got this like little like pipe bomb looking thing and it's like banging onto like some wood and stuff because obviously like someone's like launching this so it's going to hit the like piece of wood or whatever to blow something up and uh, we've got like the little grass and stuff there but the ability for this is deal 20 damage to your opponent for every level 10 or higher warrior you control so for every level 10 warrior like it's not for lower warriors like level 5s and stuff because you could obviously use them through like you know token abilities and stuff to get like loads out for getting big warriors so this would be overpowered if you could do that but for level 10s and highers so if you have warriors out for every level 10 or higher 20 damage to your punch straight away so that's a really cool card to have in your deck i do like like impact it's one of my i love the artwork as well like you got the little green details there got the little thing i added, I added a little bit of like 3d detail to this one because uh, i thought it would obviously make the uh bomb itself look a lot more detailed and stand out more so there's that anyway i hope you do like it and that's just a general card from the new set so we're going to kick off with the new darkness support and we are showing off this guy here this is one of my favorites from the darkness set and i love this guy so much so he's a level 15 common he's called darkness marauder and the artwork just speaks for itself really so as you can see here i'm going to try and get this in as much as possible so you can see it uh this is a soldier type of course and the description reads with a powerful lightning axe this deadly fighter shoots sparks in the night causing his foes to stand down so as you can see he's holding a really like powerful axe there like he's i found it cool how he's holding it like how i got him to hold it like that and you've got all these like sparks in the background and stuff so that's that level 15 200 damage is kind of like the uh darkness destroyer in a way but like opposite so he's more more damage than defense and that one's more defense than damage but uh this is darkness from order really good card to have in the darkness decks if you have if you do choose to use the darkness uh, warriors and that's that so we're going to show the last card now uh this is the location card for the darkness set so it's finally been done and this is realm of eternal night not eternal light by the way this is eternal night and yeah it's it's pretty cool i like the hour i like how i did the tree here as well and uh, this is for the darkness set so how this works is all darkness warriors you control gain 50 damage when battling a light warrior so it only works against light warriors and uh, it makes darkness warriors pretty overpowered towards attacking light warriors so if you use this and you're battling someone who's using a light deck or something like that uh, you, you're probably going to win the, the duel <laughs> if you have this out. If, if your opponent doesn't have the other location card, which is coming soon. But uh, yeah, that's Realm of Eternal Night, and I hope you guys do like that location card. So other than that, this was sort of like a short video just to show off some new cards that are coming to Eternal Light. I've been doing a lot of work recently with Eternal Light and stuff like that, so I hope you guys have been enjoying it. I'm bringing you guys more videos daily as well, as you may have noticed on the channel. So other than that, I've been Brad. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss a thing from me other than that i've made another video on the channel and i'll see you next time thanks for watching